welcome to Stan the Wine Man TV. I am your host, Stan Retan, and this is a blue collar wine show where I help you spend your wine dollars wisely. This is a really cool kind of series I have right now. I'm, I'm looking for, uh, I'm going to review my top three selling wines in each category of wines at the store where I work at, Kings Market, San Juan Island, and uh, we're going to get started right away. Uh, the first one was Pinot Noir. That was really cool. Found some really cool, I mean, really good Pinot Noir under $20. And that is kind of a tough task. Really, it is. Now we're going on to Zinfandel. And when you're in the, uh, when you started getting into grilling season, Zinfandel comes into play. It's a really good grilling wine. Steaks, burgers, barbecue chicken, all that. Zinfandel goes really well with. So we're going to look at three of my top selling Zinfandels under $20. Let's get started. The 2021 Bogle Family Vineyards Old Vine Zinfandel. This was in at $14. Bogle Old Vine Zin has been knocking it out of the park for years. So let's see what it is about this wine that causes people to come back for more. It's been a while since I've had the Bogle Old Vine Zinfandel. Color, fairly dark, almost kind of into the purplish category. There you go. Let's see what we get on those. Almost kind of a caramel, right off the bat. Caramel, chocolate, caramel. Some current notes coming through. I get a little bit of a, a kind of baking spice component coming through. Yeah, so caramel, currant, chocolate, and baking spice. One can only guess why this might be popular. <laughs> Let's see what we get on the palate. I like this in Mandel. Um, the chocolate notes, the currant notes, all kind of are nicely integrated together. Um, the caramel does not come out as much on the palate, which is very, well, good in my opinion. Um, there's a little bit of a baking spice, kind of white pepper thing on the backside. This is a nicely integrated, just a very pleasant Zinfandel. It doesn't go super jammy on you, but it has that nice, you know, kind of, uh, fruit element that you expect from a Zinfandel. I, I mean, I, that's why I drink Zin. Uh, for most of you that watch this, my program over the years, you've understand that I really do like Zinfandel. And I have not tried this in a long time, and I'm very, very pleasantly surprised at $14. I think this really delivers for a Zinfandel. It has some nice fresh acidity. That, sorry, a little sloppy. Nice fresh acidity that uh, that applies underneath it. I think that's important to keep it balanced. Give my mouth a little rinse after that Zinfandel. Solid Zin, good balance, well integrated. Fourteen dollars. I think it's a steal. I think that's yeah. I understand why people buy it. It's just a very solid Zinfandel. And I'm, I'm going to go straight up B, hedging towards B+. Plus. Very, very impressed with that wine. Let's move on to the uh, uh, 2022 jo Joseph Carr, Josh Sellers, Zinfandel, Lodi, California. A lot of people look for Lodi on the label. That's really a famous area for Pinot Noir out of California. It says, I created my wines as a Tribute to my dad, Josh. He's always on my mind. Very cool. $19. So we're just going underneath $20. Josh is a very well-known brand name. Uh, I sell a lot of the Josh wines across the board. Josh Chardonnay, Josh Cab, and Josh Infidel does really well. So it's been, I, like I said, I have not tried this in a while, so I'm very, very excited to try it and understand why it is so popular. Again, color is super dark, heading towards a reddish well, this one's more red category, dark red, purple. No, dark red. Let's see what we get on those. 
So this has that kind of red vine licorice on it, you know. The current notes are there. It smells bright on the nose. It has a fresher, brighter, not as deep and chocolatey as that's why. In fact, I'm not getting any chocolate on the nose. Maybe a little bit of licorice, as I mentioned. Current notes. Now, after smelling it for a little bit longer, definitely getting a little bit of chocolate, but not as much as the bobo. Like I said, it has a fresher nose on it. You, know, you get that brighter sense on the nose. Let's see what we get on the palate. Now, a little more complex than the uh, Bogle. $19 I get this nice um, kind of red fruit, more like black raspberry, red raspberry, current notes coming through, nice freshness underneath, a uh, little bit of chocolate, a nice expansion on the mid palate into the finish. Now I don't get as much uh, of the spice on the back end as I did on the bogle. Now this has a little candy s thing going on. I mean, there's just like, you know those hard candies you got at Christmas time? Now they're, they're kind of obsolete now. I know a lot of people don't know what they are. But when I was a kid, you had this little tin that had all these like hard candies in them. Some were raspberry, some were different, you know, blackberry, all these different flavors. This has that kind of candy ask thing. It's not super sweet, don't get me wrong, but it has that kind of essence to it. And Again, on the back side, I am getting a little bit kind of a black white pepper thing going on. So, solid Zinfandel, really, truly a solid Zin. Sorry, I just I want to rinse between wines. I think that's a good idea. I probably will do it in the future, just kind of get my palate to square one, as you know. So, I'm really digging this Josh Zin. I mean, $19. For that price, I think I'm going to have to go with that. They're so different from the Bogle, but a different style that I like. I, both, I like both styles. I'm going to go B plus on this one, straight up B plus. Really, really solid Zin for $19. Now, this is one that just is very, very consistent. This is the Klein, uh, Klein Family Cellars Zinfandel Contra Costa County, uh, very 2021 Ancient Vines. It says. Ancient Vines, $18. So, we, you know, we talked about this ancient vine thing. The, the rules in the uh, United States are not quite as, as crystal clear as they are, let's say, in Europe. But I believe if, you know, if it gets over a certain age, maybe um, over 40 years, they can call it ancient vines. I'm not exactly sure on that one. Did some research and couldn't find the answer. But the, let's just say calling it ancient vines old vines means that vines are not three years old. They're not four years old. They're not five years old. They're probably older than that. You say ancient vines, you're probably getting over 10 years at least. Let's see. The color on this one is dark. This one hedges a kind of a dark red, blackish color. There you go. Let's see what we get on the nose. Ooh, this has eucalyptus all over the nose. Wow. I mean, big time, big time. Chocolate, eucalyptus, dark currants, a little bit of black licorice coming through. There you go, eucalyptus. There's a lot of that down in California, so no, no surprise there. Let's see what we get on the palate. Now, that has, this is really cool, totally different styles of Zinfandels. Kind of a brooding, easy drinking Zinfandel, a little bit brighter, kind of in the red, hedging toward the red fruit. This one is like 
both of them together. You get that kind of chocolate notes, currants, deep. The eucalyptus comes through on the palate, so if you don't like eucalyptus, you're not going to like this one, but it adds a dimension to it that gives it more complexity, which I like. Yeah, that eucalyptus really kind of gives it kind of a freshness on the finish. Adds to the, like I said, complexity of the wine. The dark current notes. Nice flow across the palate. In fact, I think this has great integration, as does the, jo uh, the Josh wine, as does the Vogel. They all have good integration. This one, the spice comes through at the very, very back end of this wine. Um, ah. Well, I can understand why this one sells so well, as well as the other ones. All very solid Zinfandels. None of that kind of clam thing going on, which you know I hate that, but none of these have that. Uh, very, very solid Zinfandels. I don't know which one's my favorite. I mean, for 14 bucks, I think the Bogle's a go-to, easy drinking Zinfandel, has all the qualities I'm looking for in a Zin, and then these two are just really solid Zinfandels. I'm going to go B plus A minus on the Klein. I think the ancient wine is very, very solid Zinfandel. Yeah, those black raspberry notes come through with the currants. Very solid zen. There you go. There you have it. Thanks for taking a little time out of your day. I hope you're enjoying this particular series. I have a couple more coming up, whether it be Chardonnays, Cabernets, Merlots. We've got a lot of things to look at. Top three selling wines at the store I work at in my department under $20. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see what's coming up. You keep watching, and I'll keep helping you spend your wine dollars wisely.